Okay, so this is the next episode of uh, the tutorial on how to make a, a mod into Aria. So the first thing we're going to need is to know how to script. And whether or not you've used C Sharp before, it doesn't really matter because most of the stuff is on the, the T-Config wiki, which you can find on the internet. So just make a new file, go into C, C Sharp, which because that's what Terraria is programmed in, and that's how you make the different scripts to do different things. So this script, will st it, we're going to need to make a uh, function called um, use item, so that that mod builder know uh, T config knows that when you use the t use item, it will pretty much use the item, and it will take the parameters of player p and int id. Okay, so that's the function or the method or whatever, and inside the function we're going to need to use different things. So eventually we're going to need a chicken nugget to heal you because that makes sense. So p dot stat life, which is a variable, and we'll make this plus equals. So we add on to the existing life forty. So this basically, when we use the item, it adds 40 life. But we want it to say at the top and above his head, uh, in green, the amount of life it has. Oh, uh, that's he's gained. So we do p dot heal effect 40. This will just say, as above his head, you heal be pretty much in green letters, 40. So you know that you've been healed pretty much. You don't just have to rely on what it says. We're also going to put p dot add buff twenty one three six zero oh, oh. So add buff is pretty much adding a buff to your character. Now, if you go on the wiki, you will see that that's oh, one page. Wrong page. There we go. On the wiki. If we go on a uh, list of buffs, we will see every buff and the corresponding number. So potion sickness is buff number 21. So we put 21 for the first parameter. The second parameter is 3600, which is pretty much the number, I suppose. It's how long? That's basically one minute, because it's 60 frames per second, and that times 60 is 3600. So that is our C sharp file. So remember, we put under C sharp. This is a C sharp file, and we'll save this again as chicken nuggets. Dot. It. Dot. C C S. Because they all have to be the same. So T config knows that they're the same. Pretty much. Whoops. Misspelled. Oh, don't. There we go. We're finished with that. But we're going to have to add some new things here as well so that we consume the item and we don't just repeatedly use the item without it disappearing. So I'm just going to place these four things in here. Here. So you know, consumable equals true. This means it will pretty much use the item up. These next three basically mean that we're using it so that we're using it so when you in the same way that when you'd eat food you'd you just eat it basically so it takes 15 sec uh, milliseconds for the animation and it uses the animation number 15 there's probably another page on the wiki for that and the style one as well so this basically looks makes it look like he's using the item now we'll save that and just check that it's changing. Yeah. And hopefully, when you go into a mod pack builder, whoops, what did I do? Let me guess. 
semicolon, semicolon, always semicolon. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Semicolons often will catch up, so remember, C sharp is a language of semicolons, and they should always remember them. Otherwise, it just won't work. There we go. It worked. So now we'll just use the modpack builder. Yep, yeah, there we go. And uh, Terraria. Go, go, go. Shut up, stupid Windows 8. And go to the corner, it just pops up with a menu that has no use and takes up a large chunk of the screen with something it does just there. With that added as well. So, launch game. We'll just see it's still on. So, single player. Let's see. Oh, I think we'll make a few more lovely chicken nuggets, which look partially reminiscent of steak, raw, or ham, or something along those lines. So what we're going to do is make two more chicken nuggets. So you see now it says consumable. That says that because we made it consumable so you can eat it and, just, and it will actually say that as you see it already did that for other items like healing potions, consumable. So maybe we'll just come across a few things. Or maybe we won't. Let's we'll check out what's actually healing. Wish I had my accessory. It's basically like a walk an accessory for mining helmet. It's quite done a lot because it's just so damn useful. And it's not too difficult to make. So, enemies are pretty scared of our chicken nuggets, by the looks of things. <sighs> Come on, little enemies. Any enemies home? Oh, whatever. Let's just use this anyway. So, we have the chicken nuggets in our hand. We left click. You see that? One disappeared. It said 40 on top and we have, well we had 60, 60 seconds of potion sickness. And we also got healed, but because the enemies are, well, annoying, we couldn't. This is just basic scripting. Scripting can get very complex. Very, very complex. With all different, everything in C sharp. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'll just take off. Very quick. Because that will just ruin it. I suck up, but I don't. So, ow, ow, don't hurt me. Ow, 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 I'm getting killed by slime. I'm so salted in my adamant adamantite armor. Wait for potion sickness. As I very slowly die. Ow. Wait for it. Gone. See? Healed up. You see that? You see it? <sighs> Healed up. I just use, just leave that one just, just because. So thanks for watching. That's how to do scripting with tconfig. Bye.